Did I ever tell you guys the story about how someone made a house key and snuck into my apartment? True story, but before I get started, please do me this huge favor. Please like, please share, please comment. It really supports the algorithm, okay? And I need to get this story out. It's a true story. Now let's get into it, okay? So during this time, I remember one day in particular, I felt like someone was sneaking into my apartment. Now I couldn't prove it couldn't prove it out at all whatsoever but I had this feeling so one night before I got ready to go to bed I had to be at work in the morning I had picked this item off the floor I remember and put it on my dresser in my room now they didn't prove anything right but the following morning when I woke up I was like what is this doing on the floor like am I tripping okay so but that had silently proven to me that you know someone was really sneaking into my apartment so I got ready, I went to work, like I said, and the moment I got to work, a guy I worked with said to me in my ear is, I liked the gold color underwear you had on last night. Now let's, let's rewind, okay? He was sneaking in my apartment, but let's rewind. A couple, couple weeks earlier, I lost my house key at work. He was giving me a ride back and forth to work, right? He liked me. And, but I, I didn't like him and he knew I didn't like him, okay? He just wasn't my type whatsoever. All right, so when I lost my house key at work, now I'm not saying he stole it that day. I don't know what happened, but I never found the house key. Since he was giving me a ride back and forth to work, he was like, how about, you know, I'll go by your apartment, change your locks, and I'll bring you the key. I was like, okay, cool, because you know that day I had to work and he did not. So when he picked me up from work that day, he had changed, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm into this story, right? He had changed my locks and he changed my locks. And when he gave me my key, I twisted the knob, I went inside. Why did he have all of his items moved in? Didn't tell me anything. Didn't consult me whatsoever. It was like, I never expected it. It was brand new news to me like it's brand new news to you so the moment i asked him like please move out please pack your things please get out he went to facebook and i'm like what are you doing on facebook he had immediately changed his status from in a relationship not with me but in a relationship with a woman to in a relationship with a man so i was like like what are you doing like what's going on like if you're gay it's cool but he was like no i I don't know, I don't know, like one time I was in jail and this happened to me. I don't know what it had to do with anything. I don't know if he was trying to deflect the situation, but I was like, dude, please, please get your stuff together. Please move out. I was trying to stay as calm as possible because like, I, that was weird to me. You know, he had changed his status and he had said he was in a relationship. Like he wasn't in a relationship I don't know if he had that he was in a relationship because he thought I would pause my life and whenever I was interested in him, I would be that relationship, but it was weird. But my intuition had told me when I first met him that something wasn't right. You know how you look at someone, the lights are on and no one's home and they have this eerie look in his face? That was him. And I considered me being on guard by not being in a relationship with him and not just, you know what I'm saying, hanging out with him. So there was that, okay? So back to the story. He refused to give me my house key back. He refused it. I don't know why. I don't know what he got out of doing. I don't know what was going on, bro. I really don't know what was going on. I had to go to my apartment complex and ask for them to change the locks for me again because I obviously was not comfortable with him coming in and out of my apartment, whatever he was on. I wasn't comfortable with it. I didn't know, I, I couldn't trust him, obviously. So, you know, leading up to that, he wound up getting fired from work a couple weeks later, thank God. I didn't have to see him again, but that just tells me, you know what I'm saying? You cannot trust people. You think you know people, but realistically you don't. And then deep down, you know what I'm saying? Like my store manager knew him personally which made me feel a little bit more secure because I felt like she knew him, she hired him, she trusted him. But you cannot trust people. You have no idea what they're capable of. That is the message I'm trying to tell you guys, to be careful. You don't know who's down here. You don't know what they got, it on, got going on. You don't, know what, you don't know what they're capable of doing. That's what I'm trying to say. And like, when I tell people this story, 
They're like, weird things happen to you, Natalie. I don't know if you guys are new here, but those who are not new here, everything I'm telling you, I've experienced it. And when I tell people, these are what things have happened to me in the past, they're like, what is going on with you? Like, case in point, I had a roommate. I talked about it last video. She liked me, obsessed with me, dated my brother that looked like me. That's weird. Like, I feel like I have this calling in my life and there's all these obstacles trying to deter me from it. Just like making this video. It took me like forever to make this video because the audio kept cutting out, like the sun was in the way or whatever. I don't know guys, but I feel like I'm supposed to tell you this message and that's all I got for you. What do you think about this? Is this not one of the craziest stories you've ever heard of? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait to see you next time. And don't forget, if you haven't turned your notification bell on, you already know what to do. Turn it on so you never miss the video. Until next time, I'll see you guys next time.